guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. So, in my last vloggity vlog vlog where we did a fun little galaxy in a jar Pinterest craft, I mentioned that our next um, drawing tutorial character we're gonna start focusing on is the minions from the Minion movie. And when I mean the minions, I mean Bob, Stewart, and Kevin. Now, you might say, uh, well, they all kind of look the same. And then I look at them and I'm like, no, they kind of don't. If anything, then you're, you're just gonna learn how to create a picture for your friend who's obsessed with the minions or Despicable Me and you're gonna learn how to draw the minion in three different ways but they're basically they have their basic differences and everything and Bob is adorable. Bob was by far my favorite and plus that's my dad's name so Bob the Minion is who we're going to focus on today. He's absolutely so cute and he's so teeny tiny. He's adorable. Plus I just wanted to go ahead and do these three minions because I know I did a generic minion like last year and I know I've improved within time so I thought you know what I just need to redo a minion or the three main minions Kevin, Bob, and Stuart. So I just need to focus on that and get them out there because my old one is kind of old and a little, uh, you know. I've improved. We've all improved. This is just a great way for us to practice more, and we're all gonna we're all gonna practice together. Okay. First thing I want to do is we're gonna go ahead and start off with a rounded like pill capsule almost, but it's gonna be nice and rounded out a little bit. He, uh, Bob is the shortest so I'm just gonna go ahead and say that's my pill capsule for right now. So we're gonna make this pill capsule. Big round pill capsule. <laughs> Kevin is the one who looks more like a pill capsule if you ask me. Okay. So we're just gonna make this nice and round just like that and we have to keep in mind that Bob is extremely short. Okay. He's the shortest, cutest, whatever. I, I'm sorry, I'm so obsessed with Bob. He is just so stinking adorable. Okay, so first thing we want to do is his, of course, his goggles on all minions take up most of their face, so I want to start with those goggles first. And we're just going to lay out some things so we can get everything on track. So, I'm going to start at the top. We have his rounded head, and we're going to make a big circle up here, like that. And then I'm going to come over and make the exact same big circle over here. I'm going to actually bring these, bring this in just a little bit because we do see this side of his face a little bit more than this side. So we will make it the same symmetrical feel. Just like that. Make sure they're going into each other. And coming off the side of his head over here. Just like that. Okay? So we have two circles. Okay? Now we're going to jump inside of those circles and make some other circles. But I'm going to go in and I'm going to clear up some guidelines. As you can see, I went ahead and I made, it almost looks like the number 8, except the, of course, the middle's not connecting. So it looks like the number 8 right now. So what I want to do next is I want to go ahead and jump inside and each being the same size, go ahead and give the rim to those goggles. We have one circle here, okay? Then I'm gonna jump over here. Make sure there's a good, fair enough distance in between each circle. like that okay make sure they are the same size this is very key it's kind of like Baymax and everything you just want to make sure everything's nice and symmetrical and everything's just leading into each other and looks equal in some ways um, I'm gonna go ahead jump inside his eyes and I'm going to make one pupil here and one pupil here Go ahead, start cleaning it up just a little bit. We got our basic Bob goggles laid out and everything. Now the interesting thing about Minions is inside their goggles, you can shade it in just a little bit. 
on the sides. It's more like when they're turning off to the side a little bit, they've always got this consistent shadow that's just, you know, overgoing, <laughs> overcoming their eyes. I don't know. But it's just there. It's a nice shadow. Gives it a little bit more dimension. Makes the goggles pop a little bit more. Alright, after that, I'm going to come over here, finish off the goggles, and I'm just going to make a little other pill capsule just kind of hanging out on the side right here so I make this long little um, pill capsule right here I'm gonna go ahead divide that up into two and that's when I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one side of the strap back and then I'm gonna bring the other side of the strap strap back and then I go ahead and I divide that up make it look like a bird when you were when you were about five years old and how you put birds in the sky just to give that indication of a strap like that and then go ahead and maybe break that up into two and you can color that in because of course it is dark okay after that let's go back to those eyes of his and I'm going to go inside and make a little shine right here and then I'm gonna make another, a little black dot to say hello this is my pupil okay then I'm gonna go over here and make another little shine there and go ahead put in the pupil darken up the rest of the sides of his eye. I should really look at an anatomy book and see what the actual parts of eyes. I have taken anatomy. I guess I just didn't pay attention. I was more like, I want to dissect all the cow brains. No big deal. Okay. Um, now the fun thing about Bob is that I think that is so unique about him. Not only he, is he the most adorable one in my opinion, but his eyes are different colors, so one's brown and then one's like a green hazel brown, so it's really, really cool. So I'm just going to lightly color them in, maybe just darken this one up just a little bit more, just to give indication that this side is darker than this side. He's got like little rims on the side of the goggles just popping up everywhere, and they are just little itty bitty hills, and just kind of, they're like bolts almost, of course. And if you just want to go around and you just give a little indication that those bolts are there and everything. I mean, there's no specific order where they need to be. They're just there to indicate. I'm just looking at the ones that I can actually see. Like there, 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 and there, and there, and there. Okay. Alright, so we've got our little bolts and everything just popping up on the sides and everything. So then I'm going to come underneath and I'm going to shade that just a little bit down here because of course the goggles are protruding from his face. So we've got a lot of shadows casting everywhere. Okay, after that, um, let's go ahead and at least give him a give him a smile, okay? So I'm just going to drop down just a little bit right here away from his goggles and I'm going to give him a smile like this. And then I'm going to come underneath and open up that smile. Just like that. So we just made like a tangerine peel or whatever. Okay, now he's got crazy little teeth, kind of like fear from inside out. So I'm just going to jump inside and give a little hill inside right here. And then that connects to the next one. Leave a little bit of a gap. And then I'll make another tooth like that. Alright, and then of course jump inside and darken up that negative space. You cannot see Bob's tongue in this picture. Alright, so I just brought this line inwards a little bit just to give off that side of the head saying, hey, this is the rest of the body, whatever. So I'm going to come down just a little bit right here. And I'm going to make a square like that. So I make this side of my square just a little bit down away from his mouth. I'm gonna make this side of the square and then I'm gonna bring that side of the square off over here and I'm gonna bring this side of the square off over here as well. Go ahead and make sure this is my actual bottom. Yes, this is great. Bottom. <laughs> what I wanna do next is I'm gonna come off to the side right here and I'm gonna start my, tri my triangle. I know shapes. I'm gonna start my rectangle. I'm gonna close that off come up and make sure that's coming off the side of his actual shoulder and it's on the side of his actual body like that okay and then I'm gonna come over here start this rectangle over here as well okay bring that over 
make it go off the side of his body. Okay, and then I can jump in, clean those sketch lines up just a little. All right. Then of course I can jump inside the rectangles that I just made for his straps and give a button here and give a button right here. Now from the sides, what you're going to do from this side right here, you're going to go ahead and bring this inward like that. And from this side, you're going to do the exact same thing, bring this inward because you just made his pockets of his overalls, which are adorable. And then <laughs> you're going to make a little strap here and then a little strap off to the side or over here. And I'm going to make a strap here and a little strap off to the side over here as well. Just give those little belt loops. Okay, here's the cool thing about Bob and every, all the other minions in the Minions movie. We're just gonna make a pocket and nothing's gonna be on the pocket because they have not met Gru yet. I'm not talking about the movie, I'm not gonna spoil it. But basically you're gonna make it like, you know, just like your, your mouth that you made up here, except it's gonna be like a wider tangerine just to give a little pocket feel like that okay then of course you're gonna come down right here from the middle of your little pocket square that you have whatever that we just made you know pocket. so from right on the side of his overall that's where we're gonna start so this is the side of his body this is overall now we're gonna lightly just come down like this all right and then stop just like that for now. We're gonna just close off the top right there. And it's gonna come inward in towards his actual body. Stop. And I'm just gonna draw a circle right there. So his arms are actually touching the ground, so his arms are longer than his legs, but his feet are touching the ground, so his feet relatively need to be right lined up with his hand where it's touching the ground. So I'm gonna come underneath this section where we split it up into two. I'm gonna come underneath, make a little pant leg like this, just like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over here, make another little pant leg, and I'm gonna bring this inward as well. So we just made two little boxes, and of course they are directly underneath. So of course when you're shading and coloring this in, this is going to be a 10 times darker under here than what's on top up here because they are right underneath him. Okay. So anyways, after that, what you want to do is I'm going to make a circle here and then a circle here. Okay. So then I'm going to connect those two circles together like that. So I make a nice little loopy here, go in, up, over. Give the indication of the front of the foot and the heel. Back here. There you go, you've got a little shoe. Now another easy way to do that is I make a circle here and I make a circle here. And that's when I connect those two circles together like this. Bring that up and you're seeing more of the side of his foot his boot. He doesn't really have heels, so I need to fix that. Okay. Just like that. Okay, and then you can go in, color that in because they are nice dark, dark black boots, and color that in like that. Okay, and then of course you can give just an indication of a little pant leg. I mean, these are overalls that they stole off a clothesline. <laughs> little indication just like that all right then we'll jump back to his hand over here what you're gonna do is his hand is curved inward so we got a thumb here and around it up like that and then I'm gonna come down on the side over here And it's almost like making mittens almost okay and they only have three fingers so we got we've got the thumb here we've got the pointer finger here and then we've got like I don't know the pinky coming off the side over here like that go ahead and close off that glove and the, these of course are black all right and then over here what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead circle off this area right here and say this is where we're gonna begin our little waving hand so we're just going to start at the bottom of our little circle. It's directly underneath this overall strap. 
So I'm just gonna come outward over here. And just up like that. And then I'm gonna jump on top. Come inward. And then up. Kind of give a little indication of an elbow. Like that. Okay, then I'm gonna close off that section of the arm right there. It's going inward like this, make a circle, and then I'm gonna come out, make a circle here, one circle here, and then one circle here. Give an indication of a palm a little, just like that. Cute little bob. Okay, and then go ahead and close it off over here like that, and then I'll color it in. So let's make a couple more things more definite. I'm going to make the line up here a little bit more definite. And once again, he is kind of turned off to the side just a little bit, probably because he's waving. So this needs to be dark. Go ahead, clean that up right there. Color in his overalls, just because they are a jean colored blue. Now remember, down here, down below, this needs to be a darker color blue because it is absolutely in the dark underneath, big shadow going on, so you just need to make a good indication of that. But yeah, there you go guys. There's the adorable Bob from the Minions movie. I'm, I've heard rumors that there's gonna be a Despicable Me 3 movie. I mean, I'm really excited. I hope I hope Gru and um, his girlfriend have a baby. I mean, his wife, they got married. I hope that they have a baby. I'd love to see a baby Gru. But yes, I do. I do wanna draw Kevin and Stuart just because I think it'd be cute to find an image of Stuart and draw him with his guitar because he was obsessed with that guitar, as you can tell by the movie. And then Kevin, Kevin's just cute. I mean, I, once again, I just think it'd be cool to at least be able to learn how to draw three minions. They do have, they look very similar, but they do have their differences and I just think it would be fun. Especially, once again, if you have a BFF or a friend who is absolutely obsessed with minions and Despicable Me, this it's nice to say, hey, I know how to draw three different minion characters, Stuart, Kevin, and Bob, because they're not all the same. But thank you guys for seeking out this tutorial and drawing along with me. I hope it was helpful. We draw the most adorable minion in the world. <laughs> but yes, I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I will see you on Saturday with another mail opening vloggity vlog vlog. Yes, I'll see y'all later. Bye! Bye.